What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie. Just before we get to the car, I have an exciting announcement. I've partnered up with EA for their new global launch of the game Need for Speed Heat. It's gonna be awesome. So it's launching globally on November the 8th, but you and I can celebrate earlier on the 5th in Miami. Here is what you need to do. Just download the Need for Speed Heat Studio app. The link is in the description underneath this video. So just hit that and download it straight away. It is free, you're good to go. And then start designing a wrap for the car I'm gonna be driving around in Miami. How cool is that? I cannot wait to see your designs. So here it is. Here's the studio app and you just pick any car and you start to design the wrap. So for example, you go, go into paint and you can just go for it. Just be as creative as you want. And then once you're happy with your wrap, make sure you go and take a picture of it, photo, and then do you wanna save? Yes. And then once that's saved, just upload it to either Instagram or Twitter and tag me at Supercar Blondie and tag at Need for Speed and hashtag NFS Heat and you're good to go. I cannot wait to see your designs. Your wrap could be on my car. Cannot wait. This is gonna be epic. All right, let's get straight to the car. All right, we have got a smart car, the future of the smart car featured on the channel today. Let's get straight into it. So here, this is massive screen obviously, and then what it's gonna show you is my name, Hi Supercar Blondie, because this is a ride sharing uh, car. So when you hail it, it'll put your name on the front so you know which car is yours to come and pick you up. Or for example, it will put your Facebook profile photo on the front so you know which one is coming. And then the other thing is with this screen, you can communicate with pedestrians outside the car because of course, when you're driving and you stop at a pedestrian crossing, you usually with your face indicate whether or not they can cross, right? You just give them a, off you go. But this is fully autonomous, so no one is there to indicate to pedestrians that they can walk ahead of the car. Here, this winks at you. It's an eye. You see that? Again, because they don't have the face of a driver, so they've made the car have kind of a pseudo face. Winks at you, communicates with the people around the car. This is fully frosted glass here, but you can unfrost it. Watch this. It's the small things, guys. Come on, it's kind of cool. Looks cool. Let's do it again. But this time it's slower. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, unfrost it. Boom. Let's open her up. See what's happening inside. Now, because it's a ride-sharing car, I think they've thought of something pretty cool here. It's hand sanitizer. Right, so when you're getting in, you can sanitize your hands. When you're getting out, sanitize, because of course you've got different people in the car all the time. They're thinking of the small things, which I think is quite neat. If you don't know the person next to you, then this can just come out and separate the two of you. But if you know who you're sharing with, this can go back down again. Jump on in. Make sure to sanitize your hands, yeah? yeah? Okay, let's go for a drive. I'm not driving. It's gonna drive me. You're in a glass bubble. Okay, whoa, it's already going. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> wait, I wasn't expecting that. Um, <laughs> I forget now what I was gonna say. I'm taking off guard. Oh, these things here. These can project movies onto the door or whatever you'd like to watch. So this one projects to this door. Watch something as you drive. This one projects onto this door. Okay, it's gonna frost you. Oh, there you go. So now you can project what you want onto this door here. This whole screen actually interacts with you and your passenger. So what it does is it connects to your mobile phone and it recognizes what interests you have in common 
and it will only play, for example, the music that you both have on your phones. So you're not annoyed by a stranger's music because you're sharing. Not everyone wants to be getting around in an autonomous car, but the reality is there are millions of people already using ride sharing apps and ride sharing cars. There's a big market for this in future. Big thanks to you for watching. Please join my supercar blondie family, hit the subscribe button, we've got so much more to come. Right, we're out. Let's go.